A very good morning everyone, class 10. Today we will be learning about a new topic and the new topic is quadratic equation in one variable. This is chapter number 5 in your books and we will be starting this chapter. But before we start this chapter, let's talk about the heading. What does the heading has to tell us? So quadratic equation, obviously if you, even if you guys don't know the meaning of quadratic, uh, it's okay but right now we will figure out what do we know. Okay. So we already know the meaning of equation. Where there's an equal sign in a statement, when there's an equal sign, that's called an equation. And in one variable means there will be only one variable. If only x is taking place, then only x is going to be the one variable in that particular question. And if y is in that question, then only y is going to play a role. Okay? No other, uh, you know, I would say variable is going to play a role in this. Okay? So if I have to tell you what is a quadratic equation, I can tell you ax square plus bx plus c equals to 0. A quadratic equation is always in this form. No. <coughs> Excuse me. You can see there is only one variable x, x, only one variable is there. Then you might be uh, you know, very confused. Sir, this is a, b and c also. a, b and c are the constant or the numbers we can say. Okay, only one variable is there that is x and it's only one variable. Okay, and there's an equal sign and on the other side of the equal sign there's a zero. So remember one thing that uh, a quadratic equation will always have only one variable. Okay, and this is the form of the quadratic equation. Let's take an example. For example, 3x square plus 5x minus uh, 8 equals to 0. This is a quadratic equation. So, what is A for me right now over here? So, A for me is 3. And what is B? B is 5 and C is minus 8. I can write it down. So, who is taking place of A? 3. Who is taking place of B? 5. Who is taking place of C? Minus 8. So, can you guys see? A, B and C ki jada koi na koi zera. And 3, 5 and 8 are taking place of A, B and C. Okay, so, this is called a quadratic equation. But question arises, why are we studying this? Why is it going to help us in the long run? Where is it going to help us in the long run? You know, quadratic equation does help us in uh, so many different ways. I'll take one example. And this example is something like this. For example, there's a right triangle. Okay? It's a right triangle. And you know in a right triangle, there's a length and there's the breadth. And I'm making a statement now, okay? So if I say a rectangle, its length is uh, one more than the twice of breadth. One more than twice of breadth. So I'm writing length of a rectangle is one more than twice its breadth. So I am telling about length, ki length is the rookie, but the breadth is not known. So if I take, let's say, okay, let's say, let, let's say breadth is x. Now I am clear that breadth is x for me. So what is length going to be? Length of a rectangle is one more than twice its breadth. So twice its breadth may one more. I hope you guys understood this. Okay, so if the x is uh, you know, breadth, so this is length for me. And if I have to find the area for this, okay, let's say the area for this is already given 300 meters square. So how to find the area? Area is equal to length into breadth, or you can say length into breadth is also equal to area. Does that make sense? Now length you guys already know, 2x plus 1, and breadth you already know into x equals to 300. Now if I multiply this, this is going to become 2x square plus x and 300 is going to come on this side minus 300 equals to 0. So can you see this formed a quadratic equation. This became a quadratic equation and only one variable was being used. Only one variable was being used. Uh, you know, the last exercise of this chapter, we will use 
uh, same kind of quadratic equation to solve some word problems in our daily life that occurs to us in our daily life or come across uh, maybe when we are studying about some other chapter or we are studying about different different chapters and different different topics where does this help us in the long run so that's what we are going to study about quadratic equation i hope you are able to understand ki quadratic equation hoti kya hai okay let's study about a quadratic equation uh, of one variable what is root of solution of a quadratic equation root of solution kisko bolte quadratic equation so uh, let's take an example for example let's say x square minus 7x plus 12 equals to 0 this is the quadratic equation that i have okay x square minus 7x plus 12 equals to 0 now you know if i substitute the value if i put the value of x3 okay let's put the value of x3 and see uh, if if i'm getting zero or not so 3 square minus 7 into 3 plus 12 equals to zero so 3 ka square is equals to 9 7 which is the 21 plus 12 okay and when i solve this out what i'll be getting this and this will become 41 and minus 21 and i'm getting zero So when I'm getting zero after substituting the value of x or putting the value of x or keeping the value of x, कोई भी value रखता हूँ जैसे three रखा मैंने यहाँ पे, so I can say three is the root of or three is the solution or you can say three is the root of root of this quadratic equation. Okay, so three is the root of this quadratic equation, and it's not only three which is going to be the solution or the root. There can be two numbers, there can be three numbers that will become a root of this quadratic equation. Okay, so there can be more than one answer you get get in place of x. Okay, I hope you guys understood that root होता क्या है. Let's move on to some of the questions and examples in this exercise. So the very first example that we have is. Show that root two and minus two root two are both solution of the quadratic equation. This so they are asking me to prove that both root two and minus two root two are both root or the solution. Which kind of solution is this quadratic equation? Solution means that if I put x in place of root two, then my answer will be zero. So prove how can we prove? Until we put the value, so we can't prove. So what do we do? We put the value in place of root two, then my answer will be zero. So prove how can we prove? Until we put the value in place of root two, So, uh, keeping root two in place of x. Okay. So when I'm keeping uh, root two in place of x, so I'll be getting root two the whole square plus root two into root two minus four, and then this is going to become two. This is also going to become two minus four. Four minus four. This is zero. So if at the end I'm getting zero as an answer, it means root two is a solution of this quadratic equation. You can write the statement, and then we can also check for this one minus two root two square plus root two and uh, into minus two root two minus four. Okay, so if I have to bring an answer for this, what is the answer for this? This is going to be four. Two is our eight. Eight is going to be my answer for this. And for this, minus mm, four, and then minus four. Why minus four? Because root root two and root two will become two, and this is already two. Okay, so minus two into two, I'm going to get four, and minus four. So if you guys see very carefully. I'm getting zero at the end, so I can say two root two is also minus two root two is also a root of this quadratic equation. Okay, let's have a look in example number five. Okay, this is a very interesting example because in this you don't have to prove anything. Okay, it says two and three are both solution of the equation. They both are a solution. So even if you put two, you'll get zero. You don't have to prove this. 
Nothing needs to be proved in this question. So what I am doing? But I have to find the value of m and n. m and n ki value mujhe dhukhi. So what I am doing? First, I will put karunga x ki jika I will be keeping 2. So when I put 2 in place of x, what I am getting? 3, 2 ka square, minus 2, m into 2, plus 2 by 2 equals to 0. After keeping the value of uh, x as 2. So this I will be getting as 4, 4, 3, 12, 12 minus 2, uh, 4m plus 2m equals to 0. Is that okay everyone? Now what I will be doing, I can shift everything on one side and I can get my answer as, so I, if I shift 12 on that side or uh, Let's say 12 equals to 4m minus 2x. I hope you don't mind when I do this. And then 2m can be common over here. And then it can be 2m minus n and 12. 12 plus 2 gets 6. So this is my first equation. 2m minus n. So my agenda is finding the value of m and n. So when I have two values, I am getting this equation. Now, or I can do this equation. I am getting an equation that is 6 equals 2m minus n. Okay, let's put x ki jaga. Now 3. Okay. So we'll be putting x in place of x 3. So when I put in 3, I'll be getting 3. 3 plus square minus 2m into 3 plus 2m equals to 0. So this is going to give me 47 minus 6m plus 2m equals to 0. So when I shift 27 is on this side equals to 6m minus 2m. And I can take 2 as common. When I take 2 as common, what I will be getting? Uh, 2. But I cannot cancel this because this is 27, right? So I will keep it like this. 2m minus 2m equals to 27. This is my second equation. Is that okay? And even over here, I'll say this is my second equation. I won't take out common and anything. So I'll say this is my second, first equation. So I have two equations now. But in class 9, we have studied how to solve equations where there are two variables given. You can solve it by elimination method, you can solve it by substitution method. So I have m and n in this and m and n in this. So what I'll do, I'll say Subtracting both the equation, subtracting both the equation. So if I subtract both the equation, what I'll be getting? 27 equals to 6m minus 2m, 2m and reach it equal to 12 equals to 4m minus 2m and then I'll change the sign. When I change the sign, I'll be getting sign as plus. This is going to become minus and this is going to become minus. So, jo bhi sign is also opposite. Ho jate, plus is a minus in here. Yeah, plus is a minus in here. Minus is a plus in here. So, this can be totally get cancelled. 6 minus 4 uh, is equal to 2m equals to 27 minus 12. I will get as 15. And 15 over 2 is the value of m. If I got the value of m, I can take the value of m, put in any of the equation, I'll get the value of m as well. But that's how you solve this type of question. When the roots are already given, you just have to put the value, you'll get the equations, and then you have to just uh, use the elimination method to find the value of m and n. That's how you get your answer, okay? So thanks for watching this video. I hope you understood what is a quadratic equation. Today was the introduction part, maybe tomorrow we will understand more about what is quadratic equation, how to solve quadratic equation. Thank you so much for watching this video.